So welcome guys in this new question. Uh, so this question is different from previous one, which is like all repeating expect one. So so what is difference? Uh, what is different from previous question? What is the different? So uh, in this question, the different is like in previous question, the non-repeating two. Uh, in previous question, we are giving a only one number which is non-repeating, and all numbers are repeating. So we have to find that find that number which is non-repeating. But there are we gave a two non-repeating numbers instead of one. In this question, we are giving two non-repeating numbers instead of one. In previous one, what we are doing, we are just giving a one non-repeating numbers. But in this question, we are giving a two non-repeating numbers and other all are repeating. So we have to find that two numbers. In previous question, we are just find out one non-repeating number. So this is not different from this. This is different from previous one question. Okay. So what is the different from previous one question? I'm going to explain on the open board. So, so this is something. This is something binary numbers are given, uh, which is essentially important to solve this question. So I'm just write it. I think we have to just clear this so that you just understand. Okay, so so the question is different like this. If you have an array like 36, sorry, I'm just using black colors. We can use okay. So different is like what 36? If you have an array 36, 25, 50, 24, uh, 56, uh, 36, 24. 42 50 okay i think 36 50 24 56 36 24 42 50 so this is your array if you say this is array okay so there are two there are non repeating numbers is what how many how many non repeating numbers this 36 this 36 this 50 this 50 50 this 24 this 24 but we are getting two remaining numbers which is two so we have two non repeating numbers we have two non repeating numbers so we have Two non-repeating numbers. Okay, so we have two non-repeating numbers. This non-repeating numbers. How we can extract this non-repeating numbers? How we can find this non-repeating numbers? In previous question, in previous question, what? In previous question, we get only one non-repeating numbers, but in this question, we get two non-repeating numbers. So this is our question. So how we can solve this? I hope you just go and try this question. But I'm going to just explain this question. But you have to go. Okay, so. So what is the pros with, uh, with, with this question? So the approach is very simple. In previous question, what we are doing? In previous question, uh, in previous question, we just take XOR of every numbers. Then we get remaining numbers is our answer. When we take XOR of all numbers, then then at the end we getting our number which is different from others because when we take a XOR of same number, then it gives zero. When we take XOR of same numbers, it will give zero. But when we but at the remaining at the end, the 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 single character is not a different is a different. So we get different number. When we take XOR of all numbers in previous question, but in this question, there are two different numbers. So at the last, we get two different numbers. So how we can find that this, how we can find the answer because we get two different numbers now. We get two different numbers at the end when we XOR, when we take XOR of two different numbers, then it will, it will give another number. So how we can find out that this is our number. So what I'm saying, you just understand by this array like this, like if we have 36, like this, if we have. 36, 50, 24, 56, 36, 24, 42, 50. Okay, so, so uh, the question, uh, so, so, just this is this is uh, this is your question. This is like this is an array. In previous question, what 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 type of array is given? In previous question, the array is like this. In previous question, the array is like this. Okay. In previous question, if we talk about previous question, the array is given like this. So, if we take XOR of all numbers in previous question, in previous question, which is where the non-repeating number is one. Okay, so we just find out by this this type. Okay, so we get non-repeating number is one. Okay, but here, but here, what we are getting in this question, this type of array is given like this. Okay, sorry, this is not expect. Fifty is static with fifty because fifty and fifty same number and twenty-four times what same number and so after that we get fifty-six and twenty-four. 24 or uh, 42 then we take XOR of this number and it will give 18 which is like this 0 0 0 uh, 0 sorry uh, 0 1 0 0 1 0 we give this okay so it will give this number so how we can find out this according to this number how we can find out this value but uh, in previous question we just find out this we just at the end we get we get this value 56 but in this question we are not getting same numbers we are getting this value which is equal to 18 so how we can find out this 56 and 42 from this number so this is a reason we cannot use previous previous approach like we take XOR of all numbers and we get the remaining number which is your answer 
but in this question we are not we are not going to solve according to this approach how we can solve this question so the question is very simple i have to go i have to go, i have to apply the the different approach which is like uh, something was like we have to use the right most digit and which extract the zeros and ones and we take xor of all numbers i'm just explaining this question okay so what we are doing here so what is our approach for this question so the approach is very simple the approach is very simple i'm just erasing this question so when we take xor of all numbers like when we take xor of these all numbers then what we are getting we are getting this uh, like there are odd ones now so we are get one zero there are even ones so we get zero here and there are also even ones so we are get zero here and there are odd ones one two three four five so one zero okay so at the end we getting this so how we can find out the 56 and 42 which is which is which is coming come in one times which is non repeating from this value so this is your region this is your region we are not taking xor of all numbers according to previous approach so at then we get 56 and 42 and also and if we take a xor of all numbers then we get, at then we get 50, 56 and 42 and when we taking xor of this so we get the same thing like this what what is the same thing like 1 1 1 0 0 0 and uh, 42 1 0 1 0 1 0 so 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 okay so we get same thing so these or these things are same because at the end the all numbers will cut like what 36 50 24 56 36 24 42 50 at the end 36 36 will cut 24 24 will cut 50 50 will cut at the end we get 56 and 42 of xor at the end we get 50 foot xor of this number and this is the same thing so these and these are same things okay so so what is the difference so how we can find out 56 and 42 from this approach from this number we can find we have to apply approach which is very simple which is very simple the approach is simple uh, we have to find the right mode digit after result. So this is our result. This is our right mode digit, which is one. Th this is our right mode, right mode digit, which is one, which is one. So what is the what is the sing uh, signal of this one? What type of information can provide this one? What type of information ye, this one will can provide? So this one can provide information like if we take a XOR of different number, then we get one at this place. This right mode digit will will say the information like like it, it will tell the information like if we take xor of different number then we can we can find at this position one then i'll then then this is a stage where we can find that the the result is one okay so it means the number has become zero and one the two numbers at this at this place will be 100 percent different will be 100 percent different because when we take a difference when we take a difference of different number when we take xor of different number then we will then we can get one okay then this is a stage where we can get one okay so when we take a xor of different number then th then we can get a xor is one okay so this is a stage where the the two values are zero and one okay so how we can connect this theory this, this concept to this this uh this all numbers okay so the concept is connected as as much as this type like this is uh, the, the one is becomes one is at this stage why we are getting one because there are zero and there are one so in this uh, in this sequence in this zeros we have a one we have a pair of one what i'm saying this is one okay <coughs> this one has become one okay why we are at this position at this position a number have a one a number have a one like how many numbers have one at this position at this position we have two, we have zero and one so how many numbers have one at this position 42 50 and 50 so in this word in this word in this uh, numbers uh, how which have a single one every number have a single one like 50 to 40 to 50 at this position how many number have ones this 50 42 and 50 so we have to extract this number so we extract 50 42 and 50 sorry uh, sorry 50 okay so we extract this number and we extract the zeros while zeros number at this position okay so we just extract 36 36 24 and uh, 56 36 24 so zeros and ones so at this position two numbers are different zero and one then we can get one here okay at this position the two numbers are different which is remaining which is remaining at the end which is remaining at the end so that we will get one okay so <coughs> the two numbers are getting different after the all exhaust 
when we taking all exhort then we are, when then we have a two numbers which is 0 and 1 <coughs> at the end okay so we take so we have to find this number these two numbers how we can find these two numbers we take a we take a we find out the number which is have the value is 1 at this position at the right voltage position which is this these have one's position at this stage and these has a zero position at this stage at this stage okay <coughs> so we have to find this number how we can find we have to find we have to take an XOR of this number then we can find this 56 how we just find take XOR and then we get 56 and then we get 56 which is equal to this number okay and then also when we when we want to find out this 42 number then we take XOR of this then we get 42 because because at the end at this position the two numbers are different then we can get one over here okay so the number is what what, what uh, <coughs> the two numbers which is different is what the two numbers which is different at this place is what these two numbers this this 56 and 52 we can extract how we can extract this this numbers we take uh we just find out the geos is in this position and we find out the one side position because at the end the two numbers are remaining so how we can find those numbers we just take a XOR of these numbers which is have position 0 and 1 okay so after that we just get this after that we <coughs> we just get 42 and 56 okay so this is our information to solve this question okay so i hope you just know how we can approach this question so just i'm just going to solve this question so i hope this question will helpful for you okay so so i am just going to solve this question so so just i'm going to solve this question so so what we have to do initially we have to just take xor we have to just take xor of the number x o r r equal to zero then what we have to do we have to just take a for loop and then int i equal to zero and then i less than a r r 